region, I should say, that has not previously got past play-in groups. To now be here, you've already gone further than ever before for your region. I'll make his way towards the top side of the map, but no camps to take. You can also see priority in the bot, but a skirmishing going on. Vivid very, very low. Might be taken down here. EDG looking to find that early aggro. They've got it for first blood. Be able to now as Steel makes another appearance here into the top side. Ray is trying to hold on, get himself out of this one. Drops the Spirit Refuge as the X Hextech ultimatum is issued. Makes his way back underneath the turret, but is it going to be enough? Steel's taken very low. One more turret shot will bring him down, heal or not. But EDG now still looking to go in, maybe find some sort of a fight here. Mako goes in, drops down that ultimate, continuing to chase after the Heimerdinger. Scout's not able to find the ulti of his own. Still looking to go in even further. Hextech ultimate him down on a scout. DFM still looking to fight back. They may take down Scout, but they've already lost their own mid laner, and they're running for their lives. Eyeboy's able to find the Void Seeker. Not content just grabbing the one kill. They need even more. Seven up looking to put some damage onto the turret as they're trying to get the kill onto Ebby, and they've already got it. Steel gonna be in danger of dropping here next. The double kill goes over to Scout, who's now behind enemy lines, but totally comfortable hanging out as Utapon drops to clear love. Gonna need to pull the trigger onto either one of these split push situations. Scout now gonna be the one who's engaged on, goes into the stasis. Clear Love looking to disengage things with the cask. Eye Boys into the back line. It's a killing spree already for Scout as EDG is running everyone down. Ray goes godlike. This should be the ace. Detonation focus. Me is completely wiped out. And EDG will march it down and find their win. Especially if Clear Love does come in with the ultimate of his own. So he decides to use the Predator here. They do go in for it. Looking to make this one happen. Shroud goes down. Damage comes through. And there's your first blood for EDG. Big guy in this early game that yes, I want to see being proactive. He has the ulti. He should see the scar. Oh, actually, he wants oh, the panic. Oh, car Skarner. Beep, beep. Here we go. Still looking to make it into a 2v2, though. Detonation focus. Me committing really hard. Hard, turning things around, it's one for one. We move further and further here into the game. Bottom side, it's EDG again, just in control. But Vivid's looking to change that right now. Eyeboy going really far in. Gets the kill. Can he get the reset and get out? I don't think so. And it looks like this time around, they seem to have found a strategy that works a little bit better for them. As Evie goes in, finds the wall up through the flash anyway. Ray's going to be eating yet another rock. Evie still has flash available. A little bit more damage might do it here in the mid lane. Sarah is going to be taken very low. Still going to be kept alive until the Ignite takes him down. Killing spree over to Scout. Steel still walking himself away. But Vivid will be the sacrificial Alistar as the damage comes in and the double kill arrives for Scout. This is amazing. They've done this in complete the darkness, they've gone over the wall, and with the Heimerdinger, they're gonna secure this. If they get this Baron, EDG knows something is up. They're gonna find their way into the pit as it drops down below 2,000 HP. Detonation, focus me, lose the way! And blue team has stolen Baron Nash of the words on your screen, rain true. They're now down even more severely than they were in game number one as EDG will look to make even more happen this game. Looking to make the push here into the enemy base now. Vivid's gonna be taken low, tries to get himself away with the ultimate. Braves on the front line causing havoc with a machine gun. Is gonna be taken very low as Clear Love grabs the kill on the steal. Ray gets himself back in time as Scout is whirling those commas around and finding enough damage to take down everyone it's the ace for edg it's the win in 22 minutes and they will take us to match point not wanting to fully commit to this 3v2 just yet i boy is low on mana ooh, ooh, but this could Mako be good still very far forward though if steel comes down here you can make a play on this see if they can find it steel coming in from behind we're gonna go for that shadow path, finds its way onto Mako, gonna be taking him very low, knocks him up in the air, CC comes down, and for the first time this series, first blood over to DFM! Highboy gets one return, and now Haro's made his way down into the fight here as well, looking to grab a couple more auto attacks down onto Steel, resonating strike, find Dutapon, and this will like get it be! Blood all over the place. It's three for two overall for EDG. Been looking for the opportunity to go in here. Steel's gonna decide to start things off on his own. Can they find the CC? They've got Eyeboy knocked up into the air. Steel grabs the first kill. Oh, I think we're gonna have a fight for it, Medius. Saros is coming in from the side, looking to find the damage. Steel goes into the fight already, looking to make something happen. It's a multi-man charm coming in through the quickness, but Vivid's already down. Steel having to get himself away on this one. Flash out from Saros as well. Ray goes over the wall, still looking to chase after, find that CC. As Evie's gonna be looking to block people off, finding the taunt, and Horo's taken out by Utapon. Evie's still looking to get himself away from this one. Eyeboy trying to provide some chase in that damage. 
but Mako will not be able to bring the CC to keep them close by. That will you still be able to recover this series? And right now, Syndra just yoinks that blue buff away. That's such an aggravating thing to deal with as a jungler, but EDG are gonna say, that's the least of your worries, boys. Steals in some trouble as the shutdown credit goes over to Haro. Saro's trying to get himself away now as the damage explodes Vivid as well. They're trying to find anything in return. They'll grab the kill on the scalp, but they'll lose their top laner in the process. DFM lose that fight. One for three. EDG coming out on top yet again. Mako's taken down by Unipon, making a two for three overall. But can he get away from Ray? He'll chase after him with the CC. So many slows, so many stuns, so much damage, so long, Unipon. A blue ward being placed down. Do you decide to fight this now? It looks like EDG is going to turn it around instead on their own volition. Steel's taken very low, flashing himself away. Vivid looking to go in, find the team fight CC. Does manage to get it down onto a couple. Still going to be taken down by Scout. Heavy goes into the back line to find Eyeboy. That'll at least clean up some of the damage on the side of DFM. But EDG may yet be able to take him down. Ray's going to solo out Unipon if he isn't careful. As Evie finally falls to Mako. And Ray is going in and claps him right back into the spawn platform. EDG are into the base. They've got the enemy Shen down. They're looking for inhibitor number one. Haro goes in, looking to grab himself a kick. They've got some damage down, and Vivid's out of the picture. EDG are moments away from winning this game and taking this series. Nexus turret number one now under pressure. DFM trying to hold on at the very edge of the base in the fountain. They've lost their AD carry. They'll lose this game, and EDG are looking to end them here. EDG will take this series 3-0 and advance to the main stage.